Dream catching. The big friendly giant put the suitcase on the ground. He bent down low so that his enormous face was close to Sophie's. From now on, we is keeping us still as winky little micees, he whispered. Sophie nodded. The misty vapor swirled around her. It made her cheeks damp and left dew drops in the, her hair. The BFG opened the suitcase and took out several empty glass jars. He set them ready on the ground with their screw tops removed. Then he stood up very straight. His head was now high up in the swirling mist and it kept disappearing, then appearing again. He was holding the long net in his right hand. Sophie, staring upward, saw through the mist that this colossal ears were beginning to swivel out from his head. They began waving gently to and fro. Suddenly, the BFG pounced. He leaped high in the air and swung the net through the mist with a great swishing sweep of his arm. Got him, he cried. A jar, a jar, quick, quick. Sophie picked up a jar and held it up to him. He grabbed a hold of it. He lowered the net. Very carefully, he tipped something absolutely invisible from the net into the jar. He dropped the net and swiftly clapped the one hand over the jar. The top, he whispered. The top, the jar top quick. Sophie picked up the screw top and handed it to him. He screwed it on tight and the jar was closed. The BFG was very excited. He held the jar close to one ear and listened intently. It's a wink squiffler, he whispered with a, shrill, with a thrill in his voice. It's, 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 it's even better. It's a fizz wizard. It's a golden fizz wizard. Sophie stared at him. Oh my, oh my, he said, holding the jar in front of him. This will be giving some little toddler a very happy night when I is blowing it in. Is it really a good one? Sophie asked. A good one, he cried. It's a golden fizz wizard. It is not often I is getting one of these. He handed the jar to Sophie and said, Please be as still as a starfish now. I is thinking there may be a whole swarm of fizz wizards up here today. And do kindly stop breathing. He was terribly noisy down there. I haven't moved a muscle, Sophie said. Then don't, the BFG answered. Once again, he stood up tall in the mist, holding his net at the ready. Then came the long silence, the waiting, the listening, the end. At last, with surprising sadness, suddenness, came the leap and the swish of the net. Another jar, he cried, quick, quick, quick. When the second dream was safely in the jar and the top was screwed down, the BFG held it to his ear. Oh, no. Oh, mince my maggots. Oh, swipe my swoggles. What's the matter, Sophie asked. It's a troggle humper, he shouted. His voice was filled with fury and anguish. Oh, save our solos, he cried. Deliver us from weasels. The devil is dancing on my dibbler. What are you talking about, Sophie said. The BFG was getting more distressed every moment. Oh, bash my eye bones, he cried, waving the jar in the air. I come all this way to get lovely golden dreams, and what is I catching? What are you catching? said Sophie. I is catching a frightsome troggle humper, he cried. This is a bad, bad dream. It's a worse than a bad dream. It's a nightmare. Oh dear, Sophie said. What will you do with that? I is never letting it go, the BFG cried. If I do, then some poor little toddler will be having the most curd blood time. This one is a real kicksy bog thumper. I is exploding it as soon as I get home. Nightmares are horrible, Sophie said. I had one once and I woke up sweating all over. With this one, you would be waking up screaming all over, the BFG said. This one would make your teeth stand on in. If this one got into you, your blood would be freezing the icicles and your skin would be creeping across the floor. It's as bad as that. It's worse, cried the BFG. This is a real wopsy grub switcher. You said it was a toggle humper, Sophie told him. It is a toggle humper cried the exasperated BFG, but it is also a bog thumper and a gob switcher. It is all three riddled into one. Oh, I, I is so glad I is clutching it tight. Ah, you wicked beastie, you, he cried, holding up the jar and staring into it. Never more is you going to be bunk doodling the poor little human beanie totters. Sophie, who was also staring into the glass jar, cried out, I can see it. There's something in there. Of course there's something in there, the BFG said. He was looking at a frightsome toggle humper. But you told me dreams were invisible. They is always invisible until they is captured, the BFG told her. After that, they is losing a little bit of their invisibility. We are seeing this one very clearly. Inside the jar, Sophie could see the faint scarlet outline of something that looked like a mixture between a blob of gas and a bubble of jelly. It was moving violently, thrashing against the sides of the jar and forever changing shape. It's wiggling all over the place, Sophie cried. It's fighting to get out. It'll bash itself to bits. 
The nastier the dream, the angrier it is getting when it is in prison, the BFG said. It is the same with, as with wild animals. If an animal is very fierce and you is putting it into a cage, it will make a tremendous rumple dumpus. If it is a nice animal like a cockatoo or a froggle frump, it will sit quietly. Dreams is exactly the same. This one is a nasty, fierce, bog grotting nightmare. Just look at him splashing himself against the glass. It is quite frightening, Sophie cried. I would be hating to get this one inside me on a dark some night, the BFG said. So would I, Sophie said. The BFG started putting the bottles back into the suitcase. Is that all, Sophie asked. Are we going? I is so upset by this struggle humping bog thumping grob switcher, the BFG said, that I is not wishing to go on. Dream catching is finished for today. Soon, Sophie was back in the waistcoat pocket and the BFG was racing home as fast as he could go. When, at last, they emerged out of the mist and came again onto the hot yellow wasteland and all the other giants were sprawled out on the ground fast asleep.